Hooray! Art with us! Shoo! Why did the artist paint a fly on this artwork? Are they playing some sort of illusion game with us? Welcome to our channel. Join us, Pavla, Peter, and Nina on an artistic journey to this portrait, a woman from the Hofer family, and explore optical illusions in the Northern Renaissance. Would you like to have your portrait painted by an artist too? Let me know in the comments. I'm super curious. Step back in time to the year 1470. A rare and extravagant era when getting your portrait painted was a grand event. Picture the excitement as you prepare meticulously. You want everything to be perfect. Patiently you pose before the artist's easel, eager for the completion of your portrait. Voila! Finally, the moment arrives. The unveiled portrait surprises you with a fly perched upon your head. Why? Who created this masterpiece? We believe the artist may have come from the Swabian area in Europe. Never heard of Swabia? It was a region in the Middle Ages encompassing southern Germany, parts of Switzerland, and even a portion of France. But here's a puzzling question. Wouldn't the woman and her family be upset with the artist for painting a fly on her head? Even though we have the inscription Jeborn Hoferin hinting at her Hofer lineage, we are still unsure about the woman's true identity in the portrait. However, the Hofer surname is as common as names like Smith or Brown. The people who paid for this portrait might have liked that there's a fly in it, because it could have been added as a symbol. Flies have been used in art to represent death, and since the woman in the painting is holding a forgive me not flower, it's possible that the artist wanted to remember her after she died. But some people think that the artist added the fly to confuse the viewers and make them wonder if it's a real fly on the painting. In this case, the artist wanted to show off their skills in making a flat picture look three-dimensional. If you look closely at this detail, you can see how much effort the artist put into making the fly look real. Notice the shadow on the right side of the fly, which gives it a sense of depth. The artist even painted shadows under each of the fly's legs. Her flawlessly smooth complexion portrays youthfulness. From her meticulously rendered eyes and lashes to the subtle upturn of her lips, the artist's skill and attention to detail shine through. She wears a beautiful black dress with intricate patterns, and there's even soft fur lining it. These details show that she is very rich and important, and she proudly displays her wealth. Another clue lies in her hands, a delicate sprig of blue and white forget-me-nots. In portraiture, objects held by the sitter often provide significant hints about the painting's purpose, the sitter's identity, or even their profession. During this period, forget-me-nots symbolize love. Could this portrait commemorate an engagement or marriage, capturing a token of everlasting affection? And let's not forget the captivating white headdress, exuding elegance with its graceful folds and sharp angles. Ah, there's the fly again. It amuses us as it unknowingly lands on the painted fabric, challenging our perception of reality. The artist derives pleasure from deceiving both the fly and the unsuspecting viewer, challenging our perception of reality and illusion. This painting evokes the origins of Western art, dating back to the 5th century BC when illusionism emerged as a revolutionary technique. Greek painters astonished onlookers with lifelike still lives, fooling birds into mistaking them for reality. Such tricks define the very essence of painting, a form of art rooted in the desire to deceive and captivate. Interestingly, Our Lady appears complicit in this playful charade. Her slightly upturned lips hint at her appreciation for the joke, as if she relishes the anticipation of others falling under its spell. She must have taken pride not only in the faithful rendition of her appearance, but also in the enchantment it would bestow upon those who behold it. Although not the most significant work from the 15th century, it serves as a beautiful example that Northern Renaissance artists and their patrons possessed a sense of humor and open mind. If they could witness our fascination today, they would be thrilled. This painting never fails to bring a smile to my face. If you desire to delve further into the world of the Northern Renaissance, click here or here. Thank you once again and may our paths cross again in the realm of art. Take, Take care, care, with, with love, love and, and art. art.